Hey guys, welcome back to Fix It Philip. Today we have a 2008 Toyota Camry and it has some ABS problems. The brake pedal is rock hard. Um, we turn the ignition on. I'll show you what happens. That ringing sound just stays on. Let me start it real quick. So we got the traction control light on, the ABS light, and the brake light on. Check VSC system. These are the codes that we have going on here. It's a C1252 brake booster pump motor on time abnormally wrong and C1256 accumulator pressure low. The actual pump motor is still working. I can hear it trying to build pressure but the accumulator is not um, holding that pressure anymore. So I did some tests already and it looks like it's all um, having to do with the accumulator which is all built into the ABS control module, the pump, the accumulator, the whole module is one piece. So we're gonna replace the ABS module today. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So this Camry is a 2.4 hybrid. Here's the ABS module here. So you can hear it constantly just going on, going off, trying to build pressure, but it's not holding it anymore. Part number on this one is a 44510-30270. Uh, customer called the dealer and it was about $1,800 part. So they decided to risk buying a used one. They found it on eBay for about three, 400 bucks. So we're gonna swap it out and see what it does. Okay, so we're gonna take off the brake fluid fill line that runs to the reservoir here. Just take this clamp off. I'm gonna pinch this off here so we're not leaking fluid everywhere. We got our electrical connector here. Just pull up on this and pull out at the same time. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six brake lines here. They're all 10 millimeters. We're gonna take all those off. Okay, there's two ways you can take it off. There's a bracket here that has uh, three 12 millimeter nuts facing straight down. Or if you don't want to take off the bracket, there's two 10 millimeter nuts here that you loosen on both sides. You don't need to take them out all the way. Just back them out a little bit because this bracket's slotted. Carefully pick up these lines, try not to bend them. Okay, now we're gonna put the new used one, new for this car one, in. Careful not to cross thread these lines. Start them by hand. We'll tighten these brackets back up. And we'll tighten up the lines. Okay. 
okay and we'll just clean this up with some brake cleaner because we've got brake fluid everywhere Okay, now we gotta bleed the brakes. We're gonna bleed the brakes with the scanner. Okay, so I got the ignition on. I'm gonna go to air bleeding. We're gonna do usual air bleeding. All lines. And there's two ABS motor relays located over here. Took those out already. It's these two blue ones here. So you take those out. We hit next. Now you just follow the instructions. Connect the vinyl tube to the bleeder plug in the right front wheel. Depress the brake pedal several times and loosen the bleeder plug with the pedal depressed. So just like regular type of bleeding. And you go next and you do the uh, the front left and then it's going to instruct you to do the rear ones so i'm going to go ahead and do that just make sure you keep an eye on the reservoir keep filling up the brake fluid so it doesn't uh, get dry while you're bleeding the brakes okay after you bleed the two fronts uh first the front right and the front left it uh, asks you to shut the vehicle off for a minimum of two minutes and then put the two abs motor relays back in and then turn the ignition back on Okay, now we're doing the left rear. Uh, have the brake pedal depressed with a rod and just loosen the bleeder plug until the air stops coming out. So, left rear. Okay. Let's double check the fluid, make sure it's topped off. And we still got plenty in there. So the pump actually activates and pushes the fluid out of the bleeder. Okay, next. Uh, the right rear have the brake pedal depress which we do loosen the right rear bleeder until air stops coming out Next, air bleeding is completed. Let's try clearing the codes. I got brake fluid all over my scanner. Clear DTCs. Linear solenoid valve offset learning not performed. Okay. Okay, let's see what's going on with this. Special function. I think it's in here. Let's see. Linear valve offset. Calibrate the linear solenoid valve offset.
Okay. So don't press the brake pedal, let it do its thing. Okay, it's almost done here. Five, four, three, two, one. The near valve offset when both lamps flash fast. Calibration is completed. It was flashing fast, that means it's done. Okay, let's try erasing the codes now. Oh, no fault codes. Okay, so before we had literally no power brakes. So let's shut this off. Start it up. Okay, so no brake light on anymore, no ABS, traction control light. So on the brakes, they feel way better. They were literally stuck at the top, and whenever you were trying to brake, it was just uh, rock hard and very hard to stop. So I'm gonna give this a test drive, make sure it's good. Okay, so far so good on the test drive. We definitely have power brakes now and they're working really good. Let's try it right here on the straightaway. And no lights on for the ABS or traction control. Oh yeah, and it's braking nice and easy. Let's double check, make sure we don't have any codes. No fault codes stored. So I think we're good on this one. So it's definitely working. Like I said before, it literally had no power brakes at all. It's really hard to stop the vehicle. Um, so hopefully this used uh, ABS module will last them a while. And just make sure when you're doing the bleeding of the brakes uh, that you follow everything um, to a T. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below. And remember with Fix-It Philip, you can fix it. I'll see you next time.